right, all right. We are in losers, semi, finals, best of five, Zai versus Makin. Let's like do this. The Fox and the Joker. Definitely a matchup more akin to either me or PMH versus Makin. But we're going to see a bit of an unorthodox pick here on Zai. I'm so used to seeing the Palutena. Zai's been practicing a lot of secondary characters lately. I don't know if you would call them pockets or not. I, I think Zai is just trying to figure out which character he wants to play for some very polarizing method. I've been seeing that in Zeke. Like for this one, I do think Joker does a lot better than Palutena. And again, I am biased as the Joker player. Ooh, getting a good down smash there. And a taunt coming out. But in this matchup, it, it definitely is very highly Joker favored if you play him right. Like, you know where to go. And kind of, if you know how to use a launch and trigger blood strapping, there's a little fox you really do. Especially whenever it comes to like using side B or up B, like if you know when Fox is gonna use up B, you can run off stage, grab the guard the up B, and then post it to either protect situation or do it again. Mm -hmm. As you post your side B. Oh yeah, I can definitely imagine gun being a very oppressive option in this matchup. It's even Zai earlier was able to get the the the, the gun, you know, the neutral B yeah, on a uh, side B. Yeah. And Although it might be a little bit of a polarizing opinion, I really do think Joker Gun in some in most situations like neutral, like right here, would be much better without our sound. Because you can't really do short hop double gun again without our sound. Mm -hmm. Which can it blast, sometimes yeah. hinder it. Because it blasts three of them instead of just one. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can see that. But the ledge trap oh, very that's exactly what you were talking about. Mocking's the one that lives. taking the lead. Let's go. Get a good grab. Wow, I did not even hold this lead though. I definitely thought Zai was the one that dropped down, hit a back air, and mock in this attack. But no, it turns out that it was the opposite that what just happened. I was actually expecting a down throw. Uh, probably wouldn't have killed. Looking like our set might be coming out of here any second. Yeah, perfect timing for the next stock too. And that's gonna be the counter, just like I said. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait it out. Just wait it out. That's the smartest option you can do. Gives you about, yeah, especially as Fox. Like if if any move hits from Joker here, Fox is gonna combo to a mm -hmm. minus dash. That minus dash attack. Maybe first hit dash attack, but not the second. Ooh, interesting read from Zai. Ooh, the that might be stage. it. Ooh, and the shiny Oh, spike? and the footstool into the Question upbeat. mark? Uh, yeah, sure. A brilliant victory. Looking like Zai had the pace of the game just figured out. Nice. Had almost every yeah, option covered. Like, I mean, I'm and like, I'm like, most of those deaths really I'm seemed like they were just miscalculations. miscalculations. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering what we can see here from Malkin after after that first game. Yeah. What do you think Malkin needs to do in order to adjust for this next game coming up? To adjust? Being our local Joker. Or whatnot. I think... I think it's a bit of... I feel like Malkin needs to be a bit more confident in some of the reads. Mm -hmm. And be a bit more patient. Neutral, okay. Because Joker wants you to dash in. And sure, Fox is a rushdown character. Fox kind of does have to do that. But at the same time... Whenever you have guns and side B's going at you, you gotta be really smart about how you approach. You gotta find a way to jump over the side B's. If they do a side B into a gun, then they can just space you out and pretty much just keep you in your the entire time. Interesting counter there from Zai, but it seems like not gonna Good up smash out of shield. I feel like another thing Maki could do here to adapt to just force on edge guarding Joker is whenever Joker doesn't have our scent and just stuck with just tether recovery, mm -hmm. doing runoff and weak hit there is really effective. And although I might be expecting it, or have some counter play for it, yeah, it makes it say, you really, sound like really you sound like you know that from personal experience. Oh yeah, I've gotten hit by that one too many times, and I just play it super safe after that. A 
I love watching that, just the, the short hop gun uh, as an extension. Oh yeah, it's it's awesome. It's one of the most satisfying things to hit. And it, it, like, real, it, it just looks really cool, too, honestly. Like, I don't know why, it just, it looks like salt. I mean, it, I'd argue it is, because there's, there's a few situations where it can really looks cool and is one of the coolest moves in the game, which is, let's say, like, Zai hits a, let's say a Joker hits a fair one on right, near that right platform, he has two, and it pops on the bottom platform, they have tech, and you do gun one up there, you can do whatever you want. That was crazy. Amazing there with the gun. Good back throw there. Which again, this looking like Zai has the pace of the game in all of his hands. Good frame. Drops down with gun. That and. Ooh, ooh, I thought that was going to be the stock. Almost manages to get a gimp off of that. Still, really good coverage with all those options. That's going to be a back throw. I'm sorry. That might be the stock. I think Makin might have been able to live there. Smash is wild down. But. I'm wondering if we might see the character swap here. Inclination? I'm not thinking Inclination, I'm thinking more Palu. Because Palu Joker definitely is it's definitely a lot easier to win than Joker Fox. I can understand that. I wonder if we might see the stage kind of pick too, because they did just run it back at PS2. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it also is very stage dependent in this match. Like, PS2, I'd argue, benefits Joker a lot more than Fox. Mm -hmm. Town and City, I think, benefits Fox a bit more. I wonder if we might see that counter pick. Nope, we're, we are back to the same characters, though, but Three, nope, going back we're to going back to the same stage, too. Go! We got that X and Y champion theme in the background, though. Let's go. Shout out to Diantha. Underrated game. Like I know it was, I know it was easy, but like, no, 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 no. no. That game was you don't, fun. you don't have to. I loved X and Y, so you don't they have to. They brought some of the coolest new Pokemon. No, just the transition to 3D in general. And actually, you know, what? I digress. Uh, let's get back to the match before I could talk about Pokemon for years, awesome. literal years. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get back to this match before we get off topic. Like, okay. Might be getting some good strings here. Still pushing advantage okay. right now. It's been a whole minute. Oh, that's and that's that's the thing about Joker. Arsen comes watch. out, you overextend once, and that's gonna be your stop. Arsen, if, if you're not ready for it, we'll just take stocks at any time. Best character in the game. Like best drift too. People, people can say there are other characters better than Joker. They're liars. Like. Pyramithra is the only one I can say. Oh wow. And Price, you need back. back. Almost getting that up smash. Because I'm just playing the matchup perfectly right now. Interesting attempt on the gimp with the gun. I do love how Zai is going extremely low in order to get those gimps on pocket. The fact that Joker has that tether recovery in. Ooh, that's gonna be the game there. That, I think that might be it. Actually saved her. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Understandable. It happens sometimes. On to the next match. This match in, in particular, like I, I cannot blame her. It's, it's difficult.